This week, we're lucky to be joined by Te Akau trainer Sam Burgess. And Sammy B, how are you today? What's all the news? Yeah, good. Thanks, Hazy. Um, nah, not a lot of news. Um, good to get some fine weather this week. And, and we had a heap of trialers step out of Matter Matter on Tuesday. So that was exciting. Um, a lot of young horses and and then older horses just getting fit again. So, um, no, nah, we got through, got through a lot there. And then, you know, a nice team of horses racing on Saturday. Um, and Sunday, so sh- sh- looking forward to a good weekend. I saw that. So that was 58 trialists there at Matamata on Tuesday. Um, a few two- two-year-olds are running around there. Can we see? expect to see a couple of those turn out in the next few weeks? Yeah, hopefully um, discretion rules. Um, he- he's hopefully going to go to Wellington next Saturday. Um, move to strike. There's a race at Pukekohe, um, and then a few of them will be back off to the trials. A couple of going for a break so yeah sort of a nice nice really nice mix um a couple showing signs that they'll be nice and early and then a couple just showing that they may need a small break and they'll be back for hopefully to be racing over the, over the summer period awesome well i think we're only in the mid 70s in terms of days before counting down to christmas so that's going to come around super fast and we've got a bit of prize money i'm sure to build for some of those horses as they lead into that big important race there in january um, and other news, I guess, um, the winners of last week. So Timaru there on Friday, um, Taliska, Insatiable, and Al Millie B. Do you want to touch on those three winners for us quickly? Yeah, Al Millie B, obviously um, really good to get a win with her. She was a 15-start maiden going into it, but she'd been really consistent. <clears throat> Not very big, but tries really hard, so it was great to see her finally get a result. Um, Insatiable, he seems to keep getting better with his racing. Um yeah, he seems to finally be be maturing, and and his and his manners are a lot better, um, and he's physically developed as well. It was aided by a really good ride, and Taliska was a, was another really tough effort. Um, got taken on in front, like he did in his first up run down there, and he was really impressive to kick back and find the line strong. So um, yeah, look, he's all on track for the two thousand guineas, which is really exciting. And uh, Sands Duke put in quite a nice performance there on Friday night there at the Valley as well, um, just um, narrowly going down to a pretty good one with a picket fence form line. Yeah, yeah the horse that um, beat her looks to be, you know, really progressive, um, but she definitely didn't disgrace herself. I thought Opie gave her a really good run, made the made the eventual winner work to get across, um, and he thought he had the drop on her. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but yeah, just kick back. But yeah, look, it's a really tough effort, and I'm sure she's got a win in store for her shortly. And um, there at Matamata, just the one winner. Um, pretty heavy conditions there last Saturday, uh, but Petrucci got the job done there for um, Trelawney, the Trelawney team. Yeah, it sort of weird rain in the morning and then sort of steady rain throughout. It sort of made it a bit tricky, um, so it sort of tripped a couple of them up. But um, yeah, Petrucci was a really nice, nice winner. Um, she's always been a um, now Mia that we've always liked um, and Vinny I thought gave her a gun ride especially from the outside barrier got in one off um, and then built into the race nicely and yeah it looks like you know hopefully she can be in store for some black tight later in the season and it was unfortunate to see Skew with there in the group race um, there um, on Saturday up back to her old tricks there at the barriers yeah sort of um, obviously the gate boys here know her really well and, and it was just sort of all a they don't really take their time over there obviously it's um yeah a bit different it's a pretty pretty cutthroat environment um and yeah unfortunately just things didn't pan out for her and um yeah she was up to her old tricks um so she's doing a bit of gate work now with um a guy julian welsh who's meant to be an absolute guru um so that's exciting we sort of got a video of her yesterday in the gates and she looked fantastic um and she's going to jump out at cranbourne on monday um, and then all going well, hopefully off to the races, maybe the Tristark on the 21st, I think Mark was saying. So, um, yeah, just all going well. Otherwise, yeah, we'll nice. just have to after the jump out. Nice. And can you give us a bit of a weather report and track report going into the two New Zealand meetings there um, across the weekend? So, Rickerton, um, what can we expect there? And obviously, Hastings has been some good weather in the north recently too. Yeah, I think they both come up soft this morning. Yeah, soft seven. Um, but I think Ashburton should dry out. It should be a lovely track. They got 15 mil of rain overnight, um, but the winds can get um, pretty, yeah, can get some pretty strong winds up there. So it should dry out to be perfect. And I think Hawks Bay will be the same. I think they'll both be two fantastic decks. Um, yeah, it should be a, a nice weekend of racing. Nice. Well, let's kick off there at Ashburton and race to the RD Petroleum, rating 65, benchmark 1400. Uh, last start, um, winner Mazzucato um, comes into this race, nicely placed there. Draws Barry 11 um, with Nuran Jampama on board. 
Yeah, um, obviously it was a fantastic win last time. Finally, good to finally see her break out of her maidens. Um, we've always liked her. Bit of a sticky gate, um, but Palmer knows her well. Hopefully she can settle a, a little bit better than she did when she won. She can get it on the bridle a bit. Um, so we'll probably have to go back and hopefully get some cover midfield somewhere. Um, yeah, and, and she's on, on a, hopefully on a 1,000 guineas path. So hopefully if she runs well, you know, we can sort of steer her towards that direction. And race five, the GD Jones Salute Stewards Trial Open Handicap 1200. Two engaged there, the informed Chella and um, the Enigma on the Bubbles draws Barrier 8 with Joe Cameron on board. Yeah, Chella, obviously, he's flying down there. Um, yeah, obviously, has to carry a bit of weight, but deserves it because he's, he's in fantastic form. Um, look, there's no reason why he can't shoot to the front again and, and sh give a really good sight whether he can win again with that weight. Um, you know, we'll find out on Saturday. Uh, and on the bubbles, yeah, he, he gets in gets in fantastic at the weights, really. It looks like an ideal race for him, um, just what one turns up, hopefully. Um, you know, the change of environment down there, um, the, the team's really happy with him um, as they were up here. We can't fault him here at home. His work's been super. Um, but, yeah, hopefully the change of environment down in the South Island um, sparks him up and, and gets him back into form because, look, on his day, you know, he'd, he'd win. Nice. Race 6, the Agra Forum, Comcat, rating 65, benchmark. Mesben um, gets closer to that Oaks trip where she ran that slashing second um, there against Penny Wecker. Um, draws barrier four with Nuranjan Palmer here on board. Yeah, sort of, obviously, the key to her is getting her up and trip. Um, was it probably a touch disappointing last time? Sort of looked like she was travelling into it. Um, we're just going to put it down to the track. It was testing that day. Um yeah, can't fault her at home. She's got a nice barrier jaw. Um, unfortunately, just lets herself down in the gates a little bit, keeps missing the kick. But if she jumps out with them, she should get into a lovely spot um, and, and should be a really nice chance. Nice. And then um, race seven there, the Agra Forum Growing Innovation Rating 84, handicap 2200. The Mighty Spa um, has been um, pretty consistent through his campaign through the back end of the winter and into the season. Draws barrier five with Nuran Jam Palmer on board. Yeah, he's going well. Didn't have a lot of luck um, last time. He's sort of ridden up the rail and, and just sort of got blocked for a run. And if he had and he would have been right in the finish. Um, but like you say, he is in great form. Gets in well at the weight. Um, Palmer knows him well and, and has a nice barrier draw. So, yeah, another another one that looks like a nice each-way chance. And uh, race nine there, the Group 3 Barnswood Farm stakes three-year-old set weights um, over the 1,400. Oh. And I guess that 1,400 is going to be very important as you head towards the thousand guineas which is placed over 1600 um viva, viva Vienna hasn't put a foot wrong since being down in the south um how she's progressed since her last run and can she see out the 1400 yeah that's pro that's probably the big query hazy um the 1400 and then obviously the hopefully a, a mile um for the thousand guineas like if she if she steps up to the 14 she, she's going to be very hard to beat she's in fantastic form uh, just talking to the team down there that her work on tuesday was super um, yeah, it's just whether the, the 1400 is a bit of a stretch because she is quite a small, speedy filly. Um, but other than that, we can't fault her. She seems to have bounced out of that last start one really well. Um, and yeah, and looks a nice chance. Um, barrier seven, it's just sort of, we'll just see how she jumps. we just got to get her to relax and, and try get the 1400 because that's the key. Nice. And Star of Justice was exciting last start. Exploded away the the son of Justify there. Um, what, can we, what can we expect to see there on Saturday? Yeah, I think she's only going to continue to improve, improve with racing. Um, has a nice barrier draw. I think the step up to 1,400 really suits her. Um, and like you say, her, her, her win um, first up down there um, was really good. Uh, obviously, she's disappointed us at Palmy, but just struck a, a real, really sticky track. Um, she should get a, a lovely firm surface uh, on Saturday. Um, and yeah, I think she can give it a real shake. She's I think she's going to continue to improve um, and, and looks, hopefully, um, we'll know more of, obviously, after Saturday, a really nice thousand guineas prospect. Nice. And race 10, the Rainier Irrigation Fertigation Invitational Rating 65 benchmark uh, Tavernia um, has been running some nice ra nice races this campaign. Draws barrier 12 there with Joe Kamarudin on board. Yeah, a bit of a sticky gate. Um, I thought if run first up down there was really good. Didn't have a, have a lot of luck, but sort of stuck on well. Um, and we've whacked the blinkers on. Warren thought she'd um, benefit uh, with the blinkers on. So I think that'll be a massive key. Uh, and the team at home are happy with her. We just probably need a little bit of luck from that gate, but we'll just leave that up to Joe.
nights. And over there at Hastings there on Saturday, we kick off on race six, the Group 3 Valley Divine Restaurant Spring Sprint Open Handicap 1400. This is, of course, the race that was taken out by Tiakau Shark a few seasons ago. We've got two lining up. Um, Romancing the Moon was an impressive last start winner, obviously the winner of the Levin Classic, and Pukatero, a real um, mere Vice Abbeville on the rise, and uh, I don't know, your, your friend Reese is a big fan of her as well, so two very nice horses going into this race. Yeah, two two really good chances, I think. Romancing the Moon, I think, gets in really well at the weights um, under the handicap conditions. Uh, she seems to have come through her first up win really well. It was, it was a really good, tough effort uh, first up. Obviously, the step up to 14s, no queries for her, um, and they worked on the course proper here on Tuesday together, and they were both both really strong through the line. Um, Pocatero's got a yeah a bit of a niggly niggly barrier, which is gonna gonna make it really tough. We're probably gonna have to go back from there um, and hope hope to get some cover somewhere. But uh, yeah, like I said, with Romancing the Moon, her work on Tuesday was super. Vinny came and rode her, um, and and was really happy. Probably doesn't get in as well at the weights as Romancing the Moon. Uh, but like I say, two really nice chances. Great. And uh, moving down to the Group 1 on the card there, the Levermore Classic, um, weight for age over 2,040 2, metres. Um, Aromatic finished seventh there in the arrow field. Um, obviously, it was a very heavy track. Um, a few here that like, or the few that came out of that race that like the heavy and, things, and horses like Just Ask Me and obviously Mustang Valley, they're not going to get that same kind of surface there on Saturday. So that kind of opens the race up a bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you, you bang on with that. Um, Barrier twelve is, is a bit niggly. We'll probably go back with her um, and try get some cover somewhere. But her run last time, we're like we weren't disappointed with it. She sort of got knocked over at the top of the straight and then came back again. Um, the step up to two thousand is uh, right up her alley. Um, and with a bit of luck uh, in the right run, I think she can give it a real shake. Hopefully, she seems in really good form here at home. Uh, worked really well on the course proper with Poser, one of Curtis Pertabs um, in the same race, um, and and they were they were really strong. So, uh, look, she's heading the right way. I think you know two thousand meters is ideal, um, and it's probably not the strongest strongest field. So she, you know this, she's she's a definite chance. Fantastic, and she'll be getting used to that float by now with those trips down to Hastings, I'm sure, as well. Um, so just the two runners there at Rotorua on Sunday, they line up in race three, the Arrowa Park Rotorua. So Hotel Rotorua, three-year-old set weight and penalties, um, 1,215 metres. Um, Koo Cullen um, trialled there on Tuesday. Um, he draws barrier two with Nirinjan Palmer on board, and Valentine comes out of that impressive last start result there at um, at Manamata. Um, he has the services of OP Bossen um, on board as well, so two nice chances. Yeah, looking forward to Koo Cullen kicking back off. Um, obviously, he had a great season down south last year. Um He's a big, big, strong boy. Um, he seems to be loving his work. We just gave him a sort of a quiet trial there uh, on Tuesday. Um, we're happy enough with how he pulled up and and things. So we'll just monitor him over the next couple of days. And then, yeah, he looks he looks a um, nice chance. Obviously, it's a, it's a race light on numbers and probably probably not the strongest field. So look, they look like two nice chances. And Valentine's come through his first up win really well. Um, obviously, OP on board really helps him, uh, and it looks a winnable race. So t- two nice chances for sure. Fantastic. Well, that wraps up the runners for the weekend. Have we got a, a best bet there, Sam? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tough one. There's a good even spread, I think. Um, I'm going to go on Sunday with Valentine. I think he's tr- trained on really well. Um, but if you wanted a dollar each way, maybe a- aromatic. Um, I think she's r- really good odds. I think she's dub- double figure odds. So, um, yeah, she, she's not the worst in that race. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your time, Sam. Um, next week, we've got um, Savoir Fair lining up there on Friday at Maui. And um, I think he put the, um, the the lights above his head with his run at Flemington a couple of weeks on a Sunday ago. Um, so keep an eye out for him. Um, Tarapa, we've got Sartan Day. Um, Zurian is likely to take her place in the Caulfield Thousand Guineas trial there on Saturday alongside potentially Skew Whippers there as well. Um, and we may see Lord Dynastic line up in a Sunday cut, um, Country Cups meeting sometime soon as well. So keep an eye out for him um, when he uh, in the nominations in the coming weeks as well. But thanks for your time, Sam. And we'll catch you again um, sometime soon. <laughs>